welcome, welcome. We would have seen Thursday there was the Cobalt Couch where we discussed with Acceleration and a few others just what's coming to Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. We didn't get into the nitty gritty of what cars are coming. Um, that's something that I've put some work into to determine what is and is not coming or what is coming and what maybe is coming. Uh, obviously, there's some things that I just can't predict and anything with a license attached to it, I cannot predict. Um, it's it's impossible to know what licenses they're able to get for things. So I'm going to go through the list. I'm going to explain the cars um, and we'll go from there. Obviously, anything highlighted in green is already confirmed. Um, and this list was stuff that was accessible. This was this list was in people's possession before these cars were confirmed. So it's a very big positive. Um, uh, we also have this list here, which is meant it was a supposed leak on the DLC that is coming. Um, and based on the pre-order bonuses, Rust and Fast Ensemble, Speed Kings, and Just a Scratch, uh, these are definitely, this is confirmed. We've got Season Pass Volume 1, 2, something twin mill I, i'm assuming that's just the pre-order bonus twin mill um ar all-star a lot of people are saying accelerators it could mean something else i'm not a hundred percent sure we will see we will see uh the dlcs for this book they didn't really have oh no they've had a fair amount of cars so this could be all kinds of things uh so some of these that are here might just be in here um but we will see we'll see we'll go through it as we can obviously I keep bumping my mouse on the keyboard, which makes that little DPI set to 800 thing pop up. Uh, we're just going to go through these. Someone also wanted me to mention that um, the dates that these cars were first printed and last printed so that we can see just if there's a limit to how far backwards they're going to go. At the moment, with Split Image 2, that was last printed in 2012. So anything printed after 2012 is much more likely. Um, it's not a matter of, oh, they haven't printed this car, like Hot Wheels Prototype 12. They haven't printed this in six years, seven years. Why would they put it in the game? They're putting it in the game. So here's your answer. Oh, way too fast, 2009. That's even bigger. So they're putting these in despite the fact that they've stopped making the car or they've been final run in the case of Hot Seat in the first game. Um, so I feel it's pretty reasonable to say the date of a car almost will not matter. Almost entirely. Um, so we're going to go through MSC Suzuki, we already know is in the game. Slingshot. This is possibly Highway 35 DLC. Um, this might not be part of the original 130. It could be part of this DLC. It fits in this DLC, uh, as does Ballistic. So I'm pretty confident that those two and something else, because we'll, uh, who knows what they're going to put in here. Maybe they'll do Crazy 8s as well. Whether or not they can get the Roadrunner, I just don't think it's likely. I don't think they're able to get that, um, the rights to that. The So I just don't don't foresee that happening. Um, but I think Crazy 8s is another likely one. It's not on this list because I don't, it's not as likely as these. Uh, I can almost guarantee you the Slingshot's coming in the game. Like, I'd almost put money on that. Uh, same with Vulture. The, these are going to be in. Uh, Slingshot will be the retool, so people that care about that Sorry, um, but Dior 2 was the retool, so it's understandable to just assume that most of these will be retools. 24-7, uh, very likely to be in. Uh, also probably going to be Highway 35 World Race. Vulture, maybe, but I don't think so. Um, it's not really known for its World Race variant. Um, people can make it, but hey, they've got enough World Race stuff. They might just put all these ones that are on here in that and then not give us any surprise ones. Um, so 24-7. I think it's very likely. Twin Mill 3, this one's a little less likely because we do already have uh, Twin Mill being in the game as a major center point. But also I would love to see people do like Twin Mill 3 versions of the Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 car and stuff like that. That'd be nice. Um, it's popular. Uh, it could, hey, maybe this is a Twin Mill DLC that comes with all three Twin Mills. Twin Mill 1, 2, 3, all four. Let's go Jenny as well. Let's go. That I'd love to see. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Is, I think they've just called it Twin Mill because it is just the DLC Twin Mill. Um, so, yay. Power Pistons, also very likely. Possibly the uh, the Highway 35. Uh, Split and Image 2, we already know. And Ballistic, I've just discussed alongside Sling Slingshot. Uh, Speed Blaster. This is a bit of an older model. So, uh, maybe, maybe they're not so keen on it because it has been a long time. But 
it's also appeared in Hot Wheels games and is a very popular car. Um, maybe it fits into all but gold. Who knows? We will see. We'll see. Hot and a modern classics kind of implies that we're going to get the S2K back. Um, I'll be adding that to the list. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're getting the S2K back. Uh, Sea Tuna is a uh, showstopper, obviously. This will be back. Um... It's popular enough. It's going to be called Sea Tuna because of the legal reasons that they can't do Showstopper anymore, but it will be back. Chicane being our first Accelerators car on this list. Yes, Chicane's coming, people. Um, it's the most popular Accelerators car that was requested for this game, so it will be coming back. Uh, I am going to lose my shit if instead of World Race, they give us the Teku Slingshot. That would be amazing. If this is if this is AR All Star, there's a chance of Teku Slingshot. If this is like if this is Accelerators All Star, I just don't think that name fits. I, I wouldn't call anything like AR is such a weird like it's a, it's a fan made abbreviation for Accelerators, uh, but not no one All Star doesn't really fit. I don't think that's it. Sorry. Um, it could be. I don't know what it could be, um, but I don't think it's Accelerators Highway Thirty Five though. I definitely do believe. Uh, Chicane Power Pro, this is also known as Super Tsunami. Again, legal reasons they had to change the name. I, I think this is a very likely one. Super Blitzen, I don't know how likely this is, but it's a recent casting. Uh, it's technically still in production because anything from 2020 onwards, they treat as still printing. Um, so technically it's still in production. So it's probably likely because they do want some newer models, obviously. Same with What42 and Spinebuster. I mean, it's not super new, but like it's something they're still printing and still putting on the shelf. Uh, Spinebuster, this one, also very popular, very likely. Um, what for two, very, I could have sworn this was already confirmed. I was just imagining it, apparently. Uh, very, very likely. Solar CX-4 is a very old model. Old but gold, maybe? Maybe? Who knows? Um, I, it's hard to speculate. Some of these will be DLC. So these, I've put them in as part of the 130 confirmed cars or 130 cars but some of them will just be dlc so sorry um and it's going to reduce the numbers a little bit which is fine because we need room for manufacturers cars uh what for two obviously is something we've discussed uh jet threat 3.0 another very popular car very well loved by the community um i don't see any reason it wouldn't be in reverb again it's a hugely popular car and i would have said no because of hyper truck but I'm willing to say yes because of Infinite Loop. Infinite Loop gave us this car, gave it in the damn Acceleron library. That was crazy. So I think it's very, very likely that we're going to see Reverb. It is something the community asked for, uh, a lot of the community asked for, and it's something that Milestone is aware of. Um, Midrift being the second last one. Oh, obviously, Drift King is already confirmed, so cool. Uh, Midriff being the second last one. This one's a hard one to talk about. Uh, the first and foremost thing is if you haven't seen Midriff, um, Google it. I'm sorry, I'm not putting the time into editing this. Um, I should, but I'm not going to. You're not getting pictures. Sorry. Um, it's it's a it's a drop top. Um, it's one of those tuned things from 2004, 2005 that they were experimenting with. Um, they they ceased these because they know, <laughs> know they suck, right? They were like, no one wanted this. So Mattel obviously has no interest in Midrift. Um, however, it is a very popular car apparently. So maybe they'll put it in anyway. Um, there's nothing that's like, as far as these go, that suits it as a category. Uh, but hey, maybe it'll be in anyway. Um, this one's probably the least likely of these first 24 to go in. Uh, there was a 25th car. Well, there was 26 of them originally. One of them is already confirmed as DSE, which is Improvado 1. Uh, so I've already moved that one down to the bottom of the list. Uh, the other one that is on this list is uh, Roger Dodger. And as Reese explained, that's just not happening. Uh, not Roger Dodger. The other one, uh, Red Baron. Red Baron is just not happening. Um, they don't own the rights. So it simply won't happen. Now, we're going to move on to the other cars. From here, bump around onwards to DeLorean Time Machine. This is stuff that is either been already confirmed, such as RDO2, Twin Mill, Kit, DeLorean. Um, this is either already been confirmed or it is a Hot Wheels original that was in Hot Wheels Unleashed 1. Th 
these will be coming back. There's no reason not to just transfer those models and make things easier on yourselves. Um, so I don't foresee them removing a single Hot Wheels original that was in the first game. Simple. Uh, if, if they've got the rights to it, obviously they're just going to put it in. Like, why wouldn't they? Makes no sense to not put total disposal in. Sure, no one wanted it. No one wanted a Triceratruck. It's still going to be in the game because they've already got the model and it's already in the engine. They've just got to drag and drop. Essentially, it's the, you know, the developer way of drag and drop. Like, it's a bit harder than that, but it's basically that. You're already dragging and dropping like 70 cars. Why not? Three or four more that no one wanted. Uh, the Batmobile and the Party Wagon. These are two big question marks. Uh, Party Wagon, obviously they want it in and will be putting, putting it in if they get the rights to it. They went out of their way to get the rights to Kit, uh, Snoopy and the DeLorean. Said that in the wrong order. Uh, so the Party Wagon was one of the original five uh, Showtime cars, I guess you would call them. Um, yeah, simple as that. We just, we're going to see it. Uh, if if they get the rights, if um, whoever owns it, I feel like it's, is it Nintendo? Not Nintendo. Um, Nickelodeon? Is it Nickelodeon owns it now? I don't know. Whoever owns it, if they're like, no, we don't want you to have TNT, uh, then it won't be in. Uh, but they'll have gone for it. The Batmobile is another questionable one. Um, again, something they want the rights for. Obviously, they've there's no evidence that they have the rights to anything else, Warner Brothers. So maybe they don't. Um, they also had a very early on discussion with the community that this was like the worst Batmobile to put in the game. They might put it in for the sake that it was in the first game. and But if they can get the rights, they're also going to try and probably replace it with a different Batmobile if they can. Just because they know that any other Batmobile is better than that Batmobile. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Sorry about that. I don't have one of the stoppers, the purse stoppers. Uh, all these, again, are just things that are from the first game that are obviously owned by Mattel and will come back. Uh, Bowie Dream Camper, owned by Mattel, but it's technically a different division of Mattel. So whether or not they'd still need the rights, Milestone would need Mattel's permission to put this in the game. They can't just... Like, they obviously need permission for all of it, but they need a different part of Mattel's permission. Uh, so this one is a little less likely, but still very highly likely. I don't think there's going to be any legal issues. I don't think Mattel's going to be like, no, keep your hands off our car that, <laughs> you know, keep your hands off the Dream Camper. I think it'll be fine. Um, but it's questionable. Uh, Hypo Hauler is technically a licensed car. It's technically a Ford uh, as is the Beach Bomb is technically a Volkswagen. I don't think they're going to have any issue getting Volkswagen on board because Volkswagen is something that has a lot of like love with uh, Hot Wheels and it's you know a few or a couple of the original car like cars from the first game that were in the base game. I think they have no issue getting them back. Um, hopefully they'll get like an extra one, but probably the Custom Beetle and I haven't added them to the list, but yeah, probably the Custom Beetle. And um, the beach bomb, hypo hauler again. That's if they can get Ford on board, which they probably have. I'm pretty sure they've got a Mustang already lined up for the game. Uh, whether or not it's the same one or a new one, we'll see. Maybe they got two. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Ford is an easy one for them to get as far as licenses go. Now these four here are already confirmed for the game. These ones were not leaked. Oh wait, one of these was leaked. These three were not leaked. These were just in. Quad Rod and LaFasta got leaked a few weeks ago a few months ago uh under the guys that they were i'm so pale i'm glaring oh. off just the computer screen uh yeah quad rod and lafasa were leaked as cut content from the first game so they got leaked no one knew what it was and everyone was like oh it's cut content from the first game no one quite expected that these were actually just content for the second game that was being announced uh so the fastest coming. Um, I I almost put this in green. This is such a very high likelihood. Uh, also for the top list, the first list I showed that shows like cars that are likely coming, Zodic Overboard and Quick and Sick. These are on a similar list um, along with a lot of those cars. Oops. These are on a similar list with a lot of those cars. However, that list seems to be a little less set in stone than the first one. Uh, but yeah, if you want some just gossip on things that are 
like I'd say about 85% on all of these except midriff. Midriff's probably like a 60%. And this is, I'd say, a 95%. Um, as, as you go down, just drop the percentage by like one or two, uh, starting from like 100% on the Suzuka and then down to midriff, which is like a 50 50. I, I swear to God, it's like, I don't know, man. They don't, Mattel doesn't like it, but at the same time, Mattel might not care. They don't really like accelerators either. And they were still like, yeah, we'll put this in because it's very requested. Um, and this was very requested. And I would love to see a single drop tops car in the game. That sounds amazing. Uh, I personally enjoyed the little drop tops and stuff. Like they were really weird and gimmicky. I'd love Bling's car too. Those were awesome. Uh, but yeah, so we've got all this information, uh, which is a list I spent a few hours on myself just finding resources for and compiling and making sure thank you to my sources who have given me this information to share and give me permission to share uh, a game they said that they didn't want to be named well one of them did i didn't ask the second one and i'm pretty sure that if i'm not naming one i won't name the other uh just to make it fair we don't want to give all the credit to one person um but good job to the guys that did help out with this list um and hopefully a lot of it's accurate as we go i'm going to start green marking a lot of them um, just, you know, as they get announced and leaked, but hopefully your favorite cars are on there. And once again, let us know in the comments, what do you want to see? What are you hyped for of this? Is there anything in here that you're like, why did they put that in? And is there anything that you're like, thank you. That'll make me buy the game. Even though they, you know, 